I am back today with one of the absolute best AR-15 assemblies that you can put together for right at $1,000. I do a video like this every so often on the channel because prices are always fluctuating, technology is always improving, and companies are coming out with new products, new deals, and this one is going to be absolutely awesome for what you get in a high-value assembly. It's going to revolve around Palmetto State Armory's premium lineup of upper assemblies featuring the Geisley rail system, a Geisley pin gas block, and an FN cold hammer forge barrel, all included at affordable prices. Then I wrap up a few other companies like a Toolcraft BCG upgrade kit with an available trigger available on PSA's website as well and combine that again with a price drop on a blemished lower assembly from PSA. You can put together, again, one of the most premium builds you can possibly get for right at $1,000 utilizing a wide variety of components to make something that's truly impressive. Let's talk about the specs and features of this build, how it functions down at the range, and a few different variations if you were looking to do this as an AR pistol slash SBR after a tax stamp. Something like this, which is a pinned and welded 14.7 inch barrel, which brings it up to the legal length of 16 inches. Or if you wanted to have a removable muzzle device, the 16 inch barrel version of this firearm, every single one right at $1,000 utilizing the same basic principles. So the first thing I want to discuss is this Geisley rail system and the overall upper assembly that PSA offers. All of this information can be found on my campsite page, and my campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals I find on the internet, and I'm constantly updating it every single day, sometimes twice a day with the best deals. PSA does a revolving deals um, pretty much every single uh, lunch and then every single uh, kind of like close of business right around five o'clock. And I'm always monitoring those and adding the best deals over there. So you can grab one of the PSA upper assemblies with that FN Cold Hammer Forge barrel in the 10 and a half inch version, which just dropped from right at about 900 to 579 with free shipping. You can get the pinned version of this guy right here, which we're looking at for just a little over $600. And you can get a 16 inch version right at about 629 so there's a few different configurations we're going to be looking at and in fact kind of going back through i believe this one is actually a little bit closer to uh, 600 dollars so that's why it's very important to kind of uh, check out that campsite page because the prices are always fluctuating so what you get is one of their geisley rail systems that is absolutely bomb proof it's their mk14 rail system and they have a few different variations in length like we talked about the 10 and a half inch and then this guy is going to be the rail system that's used both on the 14.7 inch and the 16 inch upper assemblies this rail system features a rock solid lockup qd slots on both sides of the rail as well as m-lock attachments that work out incredibly nicely this rail system surrounds in all three different versions that we discussed earlier an fn cold hammer forge barrel which they call their machine gun steel so it's going to be an incredibly premium cold hammer forge barrel that's going to last you a lifetime surrounded by a bomb proof rail system combine that with their geisley super gas block that's actually pinned to the barrel not just just set screwed but pinned to the barrel this is going to be a truly impressive upper assembly for extended round counts durability testing torture testing this is just going to be an impeccable upper assembly again this version is the one with a pinned muzzle device but if you get the 16 inch barrel version you can swap out whatever muzzle device you want so we are starting right at about 600 bucks for this give or take 20 dollars uh, with the length you pick that's where it starts transitioning to another deal that I want to discuss from PSA and what they're actually calling it is their upgrade kit. That's going to come with a Toolcraft chrome-lined BCG, which is a very good quality BCG that generally sells for $200 on its own. It's on sale in a pack that comes with the BCG, the charging handle, and the enhanced trigger, the PSA custom flat face trigger, all for $229. So right there, you're getting uh, like about a hundred dollar trigger and a charging handle for an extra 20 bucks over the cost of a standard BCG. And that's where it starts to really take shape. You're getting a premium Toolcraft bolt carrier group that's going to last you again thousands of rounds. And with the chrome plating, you're going to have that added lubricity. So you're not going to have to add or the nickel boron, you're not going to have to add 
as much lube to it to keep it running. So it's going to be a mil-spec carpenter 158 steel bolt. It's going to be a shot peen bolt, and it's going to be MPI inspected. The gas key is hardened to the USGI specifications, and they do use the grade 8 fasteners. The tool steel, it, uh, they use tool steel for the extractor, and then the gas key is uh, staked per the mill spec. So you're going to get, again, a good, solid BCG. They also include the extractor O-ring, and if you're unfamiliar, it's an O-ring that goes around the extractor spring for enhanced extraction, so it can just run insanely reliably. The trigger on this guy is absolutely spectacular, and that's kind of I, where I want to transition into the lower assembly. You can grab right now a complete lower assembly like a blemished version for 129 with the moe furniture and the moe enhanced trigger guard with the ept trigger system you can drop out that trigger system and put in this flat face match grade single stage trigger and now you are sitting on a truly premium build in every single aspect and right now when you do all of that again Roughly 600 for the upper, roughly 230 for that upgrade. So we're sitting at right at about 830. Then you add 130 for the lower and you're sitting at 960 again, give or take $20, depending on the upper you selected. So well below the $1,000 allowing for shipping costs. Uh, so that is going to be great right there. Now, a lot of these actually offer free shipping options. So it's not going to be that big of a deal you can get some of that extra saved money to grab an extended charging handle but this one works fine and i do want to show you guys the trigger on this so it's got zero take up and an insanely crisp break the reset on this is short audible and tactile followed up by another crisp break of three to three and a half pounds it also comes with the anti-walk pins inside the box with the trigger so again something you don't have to buy the enhanced trigger guard and moe grip flow nicely with the firearm and the moe stock is definitely in an upgrade over the basic mil spec stock and the grip i like a lot better than the mil spec grip so all of these are things i would do anyway to a build and you're just getting everything in one solid package now Obviously, this is very easy to throw together, but because of YouTube's policies, unfortunately, I can't show you, but you're pretty much shipping the lower assembly to the FFL, the upper assembly and the upgrade kit to your house, and then you put everything together, which is super simple. This is going to save you a ton of money over buying a rifle like this. And when you're talking about an upgraded premium bolt carrier group, an FN cold hammer forged barrel, a Geisley rail system, a pinned Geisley gas block, a pinned and welded 14.7 inch barrel, and a match trigger with MOE furniture. I mean, a lot of times if you were to put this together independently from other companies, going to be closer to a $1,500 to $2,000 rifle. If you do it this way, you're going to save yourself about $500 to $1,000 and really get one of the best performing rifles that I've shot. And that's where I want to talk about the performance of this now that we've discussed the specs and features and how this works out. Now, what I absolutely love about this 14.7 inch as well as the 16 inch is they're using a mid-length gas system. So the recoil impulse is almost non-existent. It's gassed insanely well and it runs high brass 5.56 or not high brass, high pressure 5.56 brass case ammunition. It also runs steel case ammo just fine. The low pressure stuff, it runs good suppressed and unsuppressed, both the 10 and a half inch and the 16 inch. I can't run the 14.7 inch suppressed because it's a permanently affixed muzzle device, but this one is super smooth down at the range, especially with the Toolcraft BCG. It ate everything I put through it, and I want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the ammo to help make this video. Callaway Ballistics just did a massive price drop on ammunition and they dropped 9 mil down to about $12 a box of 50 and they also have free shipping with the code 704 tactical on ammo orders over $200 so definitely check them out so 100% functional down at the range no issues whatsoever the rail locks up solid it's incredibly comfortable it's well balanced and it's very streamlined and slim I love the monolithic pick rail at the top allowing to attach lights and lasers and pressure pads a lot easier than some of the those dip down rail systems and I do love the QD slots right here and the match trigger just performs incredibly well down at the range. In summary this is probably one of the fa my favorite rifles right now that I've built up and I have more expensive rifles than this but it's just becoming my go-to down at the range for different optics testing like this aim point right here and then it also gives me a lot of trigger time behind that new Toolcraft BCG that they're offering a new flat face trigger just a big fan of all of this. Now if you've already built something up or you want to modify this a little bit 
A lot of these things are going to be great because it's all modular. You don't have to buy everything that I did and you can swap some stuff around and you can even save yourself some money by buying some of their uh, nitride coated BCGs for right around $60, $70 and it's staying with the EPT trigger system that already comes with it. And then you can knock the price of this down about $100 and start picking it up for right around 900 bucks or $860 and that brings the price down even more. So it just depends on what you wanna do, kind of where you wanna go. But I absolutely love the match grade trigger and that Toolcraft BCG. And personally, I think this is one of the best setups you can get for right at $1,000 or slightly under. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, all the information will be on the campsite page in the description below. Have a good one.